Welcome to the Lockdown Garden. I am the Starman. Now, a bit of an interesting video this. In fact, I filmed quite a lot of this video on location on St Anne's Beach. And unfortunately, the microphone that I had was turned off for most of what I was filming. There's a little switch on it and when I put it in my pocket, when I put the, the thing in my pocket, the switch turned off. So nearly all the footage that I took is no good because the sound wasn't working. So instead of wasting all that footage, I'm going to use some of it in this video and just talk over it. And that way I haven't wasted it then. So you're now looking at the video that I shot on the beach earlier where the sound wouldn't work. So the Nikon D850 is a digital SLR camera and it has 46 megapixels. It's uh, really, really detailed. It's got no anti-aliasing filter or AA filter in front of the sensor, which means that the images are absolutely pin sharp. I'm going to be putting that up against the Nikon Z6, which was kindly um, loaned to me by a friend of mine, Mark McNeil. And uh, you can check out his channel. He's a brilliant photographer and a vlogger. You can check out his channel above just by clicking this link. Um, now, the reason why I want to put these two cameras against each other, just to see how much difference the resolution makes, is because I would say that nine times out of 10, I don't need all that resolution that I get from the D850. So I'm quite interested in maybe purchasing a Nikon Z6, especially seeing as I'm a night shooter as well. And in the second part of this video, I'm going to be doing a high ISO test in low light. I'm going to be going out in the dark. It's not going to be that dark, actually, because it doesn't get that dark this time of year. But I'm going to take both cameras out and I'm going to be pointing them up to the sky or maybe a landscape. I'm going to be boosting the ISO and we'll see if the larger pixels of the Z6 really do allow for a cleaner output than the D850. And if they do, then I think I will be in the market for a Z6. So I'm just showing you around the beach now. We're just having a little look around St. Anne's Beach. St. Anne's Beach is absolutely vast. Now St. Anne's is just down the road from Blackpool where I live. And we're going to be shooting with the two cameras using the exact same settings. Now on the D850, I have the 24 to 70 f2.8 and I'm going to be shooting that at f5.6. The Z6 has its own lens, which is a brand new mount for Nikon, the Z mount. That has the 24 to 70 f4 lens. Now I'm going to be using that lens at f5.6. I'm going to be shooting with both cameras on the same subject and using the same settings for each shot so that um, they can match up as close as possible. And then we can put the two pictures against each other. Right, okay, so let's have a closer look at those pictures cropped in and let's see how much difference the resolution makes. Now, I hope YouTube doesn't uh, scrunch this up and uh, like I said, this is not a scientific test, uh, but hopefully you'll be able to get some idea of the difference between the two cameras. Both very different cameras, of course. The Z6 is a mirrorless camera and the D850 is a digital SLR camera, very traditional type of camera. Okay, so that's a resolution test out of the way. Now, as I film this, I do not know how well it compared, but you will have seen them on the screen and you can make up your own mind. Actually, I don't think it's going to be 
as obvious as what you might think. I don't think that the D850 is going to run away with this, to be quite honest. So anyway, now we need to wait for it to get dark and then we can do the low light test between the Nikon D850 and the Nikon Z6. Okay, so I'm now sat in the Starbucks and I've arrived at the village of Ray Green. I've just come out here just to get away from town. I'm not sure if it's going to make a whole lot of difference really because the sky is so bright and I'm not sure it's just not going to get dark enough. But anyway, never mind. I'm going to be doing some high ISO tests here using the two different cameras and we're going to be looking at the shaded parts of the pictures to see if we can tell any difference between the two and, and I'm kind of expecting that the Z6 is going to be cleaner but we'll find out but I'd just like to show you a few things around the village first right okay let's go out and have a look okay so this is the village pub all closed up unfortunately the grapes The star bus. Now let's have a little look around. Okay, so I'm now in the village church and I just wanted to show you this lich gate here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but look at that. That is so impressive. Let's have a look what they've got over here. There's a village shop over here. Let's go and have a little look at that. Okay, so this is a village shop. And they've even got a red phone box. How about that? Now, I might even be able to kill two birds with one stone tonight because we might see some of those magic ice clouds tonight. They're not losing clouds, so I'll be keeping an eye out for those. Really, really nice sky. Right, okay, so I'm now on the village green and this is where I'm gonna set up my shot. Hey, look at that moon. Wow. It's just past the half moon. It's actually in the waxing gibbous phase right now. So I'm on the uh, green now and uh, just by the cricket pitch here in Ray Green and there's also a duck pond behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the camera not towards the brighter part of the sky over here, unless those ice clouds show up, then I will be pointing it that way. But I'm going to be pointing it towards this part of the sky behind me. Um, and uh, I'm going to be looking at the shadows of the pictures to see how the, the two cameras compare for high ISO. And I am kind of expecting the Z6 to be a little bit cleaner maybe YouTube could, you know, the compression could level the results, but we'll see. It's not scientific and um, I can always have a look at the pictures myself in full without compression to tell which ones are the best. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit darker and then I'll get the cameras out and we'll do this test. 